So today I want to build a simple but effective setup for creating generative sequences and this setup is very much inspired by one of my favorite um, sequencers in VCVREC called Slips. Its main feature is the Slips function that can add randomness according to the probability you set and of course it has also other interesting features. Now I added also some of the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating. So if you are interested it's available on my patreon together with the project file from this video and from other videos on this channel so let's really start with the main setup you can see we'll be using the node grid today i have it set to mono and it will not run when stopped and first of all we will generate everything inside the patch so there is no need for the node in device and for generating pitch variation we will use the steps module or the steps sequencer now we will set this to full length, so 64 steps, maybe randomize it also a few times. And I would like to have control over the speed, over the, uh, the resolution of this sequence. So we will use the phase counter device, right, and also the triggers. The counter will set the number of steps of the sequence itself. For now, let's leave this with eight. So we'll have an eight step sequence and the triggers will control or dictate the speed or the resolution of the sequence of the notes. So if I set this, for example, to eight, we will get eighth notes resolution, right? This will trigger the counter. The counter will scan through the sequence. Although we have here 64 steps, it will scan, it will choose only eight of them. So we will still get an eight step sequence. We don't need here anymore the pre-code for the phase because we are using again the counter so we can disable this. And now as always, we need a way to reset the counter. So under inputs, outputs, we have transport playing. This will basically trigger the reset of the counter whenever we hit play. And again, we will use this as pitch information. So let's um, use the pitch scaler just so we don't get notes that are going too low or too high. Um, I will change this from C3 to C4. So we have two octaves. And we'll use also the pitch quantize and set a scale. Of course, you can change the settings here on the scaler. You can choose a different scale if you want. And now this, if I take this here a bit up, this will go to the pitch input and maybe this also just so the cables are not in the way. We will use the triggers also to trigger this voice. And now if I play this, we will get a repetitive eight step sequence. <laughs> Right. Again, we have 64 steps to choose from, but because we have the counter set to 8, it will choose only 8 steps. If I change this to 16, for example, we'll get a 16 step sequence. Right, or something that I like even better is a 7 step sequence. Right, and now let's start adding more features to this. Now, again, on the original module, we can change the starting point of the sequence. So in this case, we have seven steps, but we can shift them around the main 64 step sequence. And we can do this basically with the phase shift module, right? If this goes, maybe I will make here some space. If this will go after the counter, so between the counter and the sequencer, now we, you can see we can shift the starting point where this sequence will start. Right, so now we have this sequence, I can shift it. We still get seven steps, but it will just choose different steps within those 64. Pay attention when I change the shift. Right, we get those glitches in the sound, but this we can easily um, sort of fix, if you will, if we just use sample and hold. So sample and hold will be under level. Um, right, I just connect this between the sequencer and the scaler. And now we need a trigger and whenever the sample and hold will be triggered, there will be actually change in pitch. So to avoid those glitches, we can just use the triggers that we use to trigger the voice, to trigger the sequence. And now only when the pitch changes, um, only when the triggers happen, we will get actually change in pitch, right? And we will not get those 
glitches in the sound. Now another thing we can add and it's also available on the main module or the original module is probability. Right, we have probability control that will dictate the probability of the sequence to actually generate gates. Now, in our case, we can use, for example, if we go to the random tab, we have the chances module. This will go between the triggers and the gate output. Right, so 100% we get always the gates, but we can change this, for example, to 75. Right, and then, and then we have a bit more uh, space in between the notes. I will call this already probability. Right, so now we can add a bit space between the different notes. And that's, now let's really um, add the slips function. And again, this will add random notes according to a probability we can set. So for this, we did a few things. First of all, let's use the dice module. This module will generate our random values. We will trigger it with the same triggers we used to drive this sequence. And now we will mix these two together with the original sequence, right? So if I use just the normal mixer here between the sequencer and the sample and hold, and I use the dice as the second channel. Right now we have always the random notes, always it will be triggered and always mixed with the original sequence. So we will just get always random notes all the time. Right, the random values are always added to the original sequence. But now if I take this level all the way down, we are back with the original sequence. So we need a way to open this level. And for this, we can use again another chances or chance module. Right, again, trigger it with the same triggers from the original sequence. Right, I will set this, let me stop this for a second. I will set this to zero uh, probability for now. Right, we can call this, for example, slips probability. And now we can use this to control the level on the mixer. According to the probability we set, the mixer will open and will let the random notes through. And this we can do again in the inputs outputs, we have the modulator out. If I use this to modulate now the level on the filter, on the filter, on the mixer, right? And I hit play, it's set to zero. We have no random notes. There is no probability that a random note will be added. We set this to 100. We will always get random notes. But if we go to somewhere like 15 or 13 or 14, right, we will get random notes only only here and there again according to the probability we set right so already we get some uh, nice variation and uh, the interesting thing here just like on the original module we have this output here this is the gate output whenever the slips actually happen according to the probability we get also a gate and we can make other events happen only let me stop this for a second, only when the random notes are happening, right? So for example, let's say that whenever there is a random note happening or being added to the mix, to the notes, we can open the release for this voice, right? Let me show you the voice that I have here, right? Basically, this is the synthesizer that I'm using, the polymer. And for this, we will need a few different things. So first of all, to open actually the release, to modulate things, I will use an attack decay envelope, right? To trigger it again, we will use the probability from the slips. So whenever we have a random note, this envelope will be triggered. And now to actually use this to control something on the synthesizer, we will use the velocity output from the envelope output. This will go to the velocity and now we can use the velocity to open the release or change the envelope or actually whatever you want on this uh, voice that you might have. Right, so now we will need here the modulator, the expressions modulator and we can use velocity. 
Right, so I will use velocity just to make the envelope a bit longer. And again, this will happen only together with the slips, with the random notes. Right, so now let's listen to this, maybe have a longer decay here. So now only when this happens, I can even show you this. Right, so normally we will have shorter notes. Right, but then only the random notes will get a longer envelope. Right, and this will happen again only when the random notes are actually being added to this mix. Now another thing we can add, for example, is we can add variation to the starting point of the sequence whenever we get a random note, whenever the slips is activated, we can also, it will also shift the sequence and this will also happen randomly. Right, so we will need another dice module. Right, again, we will use the probability triggers from the slip. So whenever we get a random note, it will also shift the sequence. Now, actually, I don't want this to happen each and every time. I want this to happen, let's say, every four triggers. Every four triggers that come from this uh, probability module will then only change the sequence. So what we can do, if we go to logic, we have the clock divider. I send this before, right, in the way of the triggers. If I set this to four, right, it will count. Basically, it's also a counter. It will count the number of triggers. And only after four triggers, it will actually trigger the dice module. Right, and again, we, this we will use to modulate the shift. And again, we need a modulator out module or device, right? And this will modulate the shift. So now this will also shift the sequence. After four times, we added a random note. The sh uh, sequence, the original seven step sequence will be shifted. <laughs> this here right so we get a beautiful generative sequencing setup it's really quite simple there's not a lot going on here but it's full of interesting variation there is randomness there is also stability which is also always nice and this is here more or less the setup. You can see it's not very complex. Um, but let me add a few more voices here just for context. I have here a bass, a hi-hat, and some glitchy sound. Again, just for context. I'm going to play this. Uh, thank you again for watching. Come join us on Patreon and Discord. Cheers.